Hi. Hi. Welcome to Two Tangled Skeins. We are July 12th, 2014. This is episode 72. I'm Sue, also known as Crafty Knitter 7. I'd like to welcome new viewers and any returning viewers. And look what we found on the side of the road. Literally. Actually, she's right. Literally. While well, walking out of a transit station, anyway, which technically isn't the side of the road. Um, I was in parking lot. Exactly. Um, and I'm Carrie, also known as Jada Ditter, and uh, you can find us on YouTube and, well, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. I spent two hours last week and texting Carrie back and forth. We, I can't get it on we iTunes. can't get it on iTunes. Not going to so, happen. Not easily. So. And it's too much trouble and too much stress. So We yeah, tried. We, we tried. So you can find us on uh, YouTube under Two Tangled Skeins and on our blog, which is also twotangledskeins.com. Yep. And come join us on Ravelry, because apparently we now have 700 members. Over 728. Oh. Sweet. Yes. Um, I've been out of commission for a while. Like, really out of commission for a while. Um, I'm just so glad I don't have to do that part anymore. Ha! So yeah. Ha. Your turn. Pause off. Hello, I am Lynn, also call. known as Toll Baby. No mouth either. No biting. <laughs> <laughs> Shenanigans. Yeah. Aren't you glad I'm back? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, and that was a carry squeal. <laughs> no, not it was really. pretty close. Not really. No, because it didn't hurt eardrums. True. Yeah. Well, it didn't hurt ours anyway. We don't know about yours. And there was no fear. Um So um, we also have Twitter, but nobody goes there, so who cares? Moving right along. Oh yeah, we do have Twitter. I forgot that. <laughs> yeah, we have Twitter, but it basically posts. It just posts when, when we when we update. So. Yeah. No. We don't actually tweet anything. No. Who has time for that? No. Well, technically I do, but no. So FOs, <laughs> I think there are none because Lynn forgot her French can I'm can at sorry. home. And I've done. It's you know, still in the suitcase, honestly. I haven't unpacked or anything. Have you even blocked it? No. Okay. What <laughs> a silly question. But, <laughs> sorry. I've sorry. never blocked anything in my life. <laughs> yeah, she normally hands them over to me. <laughs> a few things she does block. I have cats. It doesn't right. work well. Yeah, you need a room that nobody will go in. No. I know. Well, they don't They don't go into my room, but there's basically room for my bed and nothing else. So unless I want to block it on my bed and not be able to go to sleep. I'd have to do it first thing in the morning. I'm not a morning person. No. So what's on the needles? Carrie? Okay. Apparently I'm going first. Yes, you are. Um, it's your punishment. <laughs> Why? Uh, what I currently have in my hand, is I guess what I'll start with, is uh, my modified owl sweater for my mom. And I'll just get the last like four stitches. It's really noisy. I'm going to switch to the other one. Mm -hmm. Oh, your metal needles? Yeah. I'm on the beginning of DPNs, so it's just messy and noisy. It's actually a cardigan, as you can see, because it's got an open front. Um, and I modified it so it's 60 inches around as opposed to the maximum of the pattern, which is actually 50. And you can see I finally have the owls around the top done. Yay! Yeah, you can see those. So I'm now just working my way up the shoulder um, because my mom's claustrophobic and has some problems with her arms and her upper body so I'm modifying how it goes together on the top and making it a lot longer here than okay. it normally would be. Mm -hmm. um, so as you can see it's this is the the underarm and this is the top mm -hmm. and there'll be probably another couple of inches before I actually start any decreasing for up here so it'll actually it will hang quite a bit lower than a normal Which is what she likes. Which is what she wants um, because otherwise she wouldn't be able to get into it without my father's help which not it's really not the point there. of having a sweater. Um, and we're still debating whether or not it'll have a hood. <laughs> I, I, I do what my mother requests. We're also I, debating on closures. Whether I, or not that I will can't be. see mom wearing a hood personally, but that's just me. Um, she does occasionally. Especially in the winter. But now she, I've got this thug image of her wearing a hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> what you have to understand is this thug image also has to come in pastel pink. Uh -huh. Terry Think cloth. Dolores Umbridge and Eminem. Come <laughs> on. <laughs> but it, 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 she has one. It's pastel pink, has a hood, which she wears, and it comes down to like just below her knees. Oh, God. Um, oh, yeah. It's my, my mother is a grandmother. Wait, even though mom. she isn't a grandmother. Well, she 
because she is the dog. She's a she's a she's a grandma. She's a grand. She's a grand dog. She's a grand puppy. Um, but this is uh, this is um, the original sweater that I took this off of is uh, Owls by Kate Davies, and it is a wonderfully wonderfully written pattern. Um, I'm doing it out of Cascade 128 in Sapphire is the name of the color, and it is on US uh, 10 and 10 and a half, which is no, it's on 10 and 10 and a half millimeter, which is using US six and six and a half. No, the other way around. Six millimeters is a US 10. Six and a half millimeters is a US 10 and a half. What she said. Um, and I think <laughs> they kept you around for a reason. Exactly. I think Jeez. these are the, the 10 and a half. I'm not sure and I don't care enough to bother checking. And yes, I know there's a gauge right there. I'm like, there's a needle gauge right there. But, you know, hey, you can you can use the DPNs as stash acquisition. <laughs> she found some in Rob's couch. These are mine. In Rob's couch from last August. Yeah. I was in Chicago last week, and we were looking for a TV remote, and one of the kids, or Rob, somebody stuck their hand down the side of the couch and went, what the heck is this thing, and pulled out a set of her DPNs. Specifically, these ones, which I couldn't find when to I went the to do the sweater, so I ordered new ones, because I'm like, oh, well, I'd given big ones to, to Lynn, I must have given them to her, and I just ordered new ones, because I was ordering the yarn anyways. I'm like, eh, new needles. This will hopefully be a little bit quieter to work on. Um, and then I have my plain vanilla sock. This is opal confetti, I think. It's pretty. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. it's but isn't that your second go on those socks? Yes. Or third? Third. <laughs> They've been around for a while. They, these predate all knitting that any of you guys have ever seen. These That's are worse than Rob's socks. Oh, yeah. Um, because these predate my divorce. Ooh. And since most of you probably didn't know I was married, that might come as a shock. But yeah, these these are old. Um, I've had to rip them out several times because my gauge has changed, and I made. And were those the mistake afterthought heels? Yes, these are the mistake from afterthought the heels from last year. And um, you can see where there's yarn here. That's because I knit up to the point where the afterthought heel was, and then just continued knitting again. Uh, <laughs> so are they going to be a true afterthought heel again? They will be a true afterthought heel again. Okay. Um, only this time I will measure correctly. So that's those. And so then these needles are those on? Those are 2.25, which is US 1. Okay. And then the other one I've got, I currently have the balls stuck in these. Um, <coughs> if what? I do. The balls in the middle. Oh, wow. That was <laughs> popping them out. Um, these are uh, the Keytree socks uh, by the Sarino socks. I'm sorry, I don't know your real name. Um, I've met her. She's a wonderful lady. Has really interesting sock patterns, but you can only get them in kits. If it helps anybody, she's the lady who does the Shark Week socks. Yes, she does the Shark Week socks, which are really cool. I've seen them in person. They are actually really cool. Um, and these, as you can see, the top there. Um, I had to redo them because I bought the large size, and the pattern is 80 stitches around. I do 72 on, on 2.25s. These were 80 on 2.5s, and somehow in my mind... You thought that would work. This worked. This has nothing to do with gauge because the gauge didn't lie. The gauge told me they would be too big. Well, guess what? They're too big. Um, <laughs> this is a finished one. This is the finished one. And it's unfortunately, they're not red. And I don't know. Oh, it's, yeah, yeah. you can kind of see it. Um, if you look on my project page, there is actually a finished picture of these um, under my unfinished projects uh, because I'm ripping them out. And you can see it a lot better on there. Um, the yarn. Uh, came with the pattern along with the beads on the top. These are so actually so many beads. So many Shiny. beads. So pretty. Um, these are actually top down, and you do this last. But since I didn't want to have to redo the cuff, because the cuff is fine, when I ripped them out, I ripped back to a row or two prior to the cuff, and then redid them. And I'm redoing them. There's still 80 stitches around. I'm just redoing them on 2.25s, which will still come up a little on the big side, but not quite as bad as. Well, they're not going to be falling down. They're not going right. to Yeah. That's what I'm doing. Um, and these ones, I'm using my, my purdy uh, diecraft needles. needles. Which I love very much. And that's it. Okay. Because I basically, I knit when my parents pull me out of the house, which is once every couple of weeks. I do not knit at home at the moment. Sue's turn? My turn. Sue's turn. I cast on Brickless, which is a Martina Beam pattern. 
and it was gifted to me by my friend Kathy for my birthday. And I'm knitting it out of, yeah. I've tried several shawls with this yarn, it's huge. It's a huge cake. Oh, that is this what it is. This is Biker Chick, Miss Babs. Yeah, Did we buy out. that at Stitches? No, Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck, okay. You stood in line with yes, me. Yes, I, I know, but she's everywhere, so. You bought me this. <laughs> oh, yes. So, <laughs> I've tried several patterns with this, and so finally I'm like, you know what, it calls for this? I'm going to knit it in this. I didn't even do a gauge swatch. I just guessed on. Yep. Upside with shawls is you gauge can do that. Gauge doesn't really matter. I mean. No. Doesn't matter. So. But actually, it, that's not true. It does occasionally matter. No. But it doesn't matter on this one. It is it doesn't a matter really, this. really funky shawl. It's sort of like a uh, hitchhiker. It, it is. So you've yeah, got... Yeah, it's got lace panels. You've got lace. Got solid panels. You've got garter stitch and you have ribbed. So there's... It's really neat. It is really yeah. neat. So I'm knitting this on size four, which is a US six, and squishy, but yeah, like this cake is the size of my head. Um, yeah, so that's one thing. The other thing I'm knitting, and I'm at the border and I'm frustrated because the French Can Can border does not like me. We'll work on it after the show. So French Can Can, it's basically She's a little farther along than I am. You just, just a little. So those are the colors. Three Irish Girls yarn. Um, it's the Kells Sport Base in the Giving Tree colorway. And I have another skein. So I have enough for the border. So. And that's knit on size fours as well. And yeah, loving it. Except for the border. Except for the border. But that's okay, we'll fix that. I have this much left, so we should be able to start the border. Oh yeah. And that's housed in my Hello Kitty bag from Tiny Greek Calf Tiny Geek Crafter who is Cat Tail Knits. Mm -hmm. I love it. I almost pulled out her sock yarn, but I, I didn't want to make socks for me because I keep making myself socks and I don't like wearing hand knit socks. So Stop making your socks make me socks. No, I've already made you socks, that's it. She didn't technically make me socks. She just gave me socks. I made me socks, but they didn't fit, so she got them. Win! There's usually a win-win. Yeah. So what you knitting on? <laughs> I'm knitting on a French can-can, you bum. <laughs> it's all her fault. I all take her fault. no responsibility We're emailing back and It's her fault. And oh, I'm no. like, I'm talking about the border, and I'm like, I'm messing up. And she's like, I bet you you're on row three. And I'm like, how'd you guess? She's like, trust me, I know. And we're going back and forth, and then I'm like, oh, you can make another one. And I can't sending her links to she her was sending stash. me links to my stash going you can make one out of this you can make one out of this yeah i didn't go with that i went with something completely different so it's what i'm knitting on right now give me a sec here this is where i am it's <laughs> she's a little bit further along it's uh this is going to be interesting because this is felty yarn it's a little scratchy it is it's a little bit scratchy a little bit soft but it's got the most gorgeous colors it's this purple Purples. and peach and blue and, and white and yeah it's really nifty it's and very it is freedom spirit by twillies of stanford uh it's discontinued as is most of my stash don't ever look to me for yarn recommendations because three quarters of what i own is discontinued that's what i get for shopping in the fun bin at knit knackers for two years <laughs> the fun bin is where they would put stuff they were getting rid of so yep. Most of my yarn is discontinued. And this is on 4.5s, which is a US 7, and I'm only about a quarter of the way through the body of the shawl. So I'm not even close to starting the, the border, but I will be able to help Sue with hers later. And I'm also knitting, sort of, because <laughs> this is as far as I've gotten. <laughs> it is a plain vanilla sock. Um, I use basically the closest pattern would be um, Stephanie. Stel Stephanie Pearl McPhee's basic sock recipe from Knitting Rules. I don't have the book, but I took memorized it. I, well, she she taught us the class and she taught us how to memorize the pattern, so like it's it's really easy. Um, these, this is for my daddy, so it's really big because um, he has swelly ankles and feet and things. Um, so it's basically a three point two five millimeter size three. Oh, eighty those stitch, big needles. Uh, no, not it's fifty six stitches around because. Although this is supposed to be a fingering, it's not. It's a sport. So I, I knit on bigger needles for it. Um, this is Bernat Socks, also discontinued, but you can still get it pretty much everywhere. Um, eBay, Etsy, 
people are selling it all over the place. Matter of fact, I scored this one and two other balls. This is also my stash, stash acquisition um, on eBay and had them delivered to Rob's house. So that's, I picked them up while I was there. Oh. <laughs> and yarn barf. Yarn barf. Yarn barf. So, um, yeah, this is basically acrylic sock yarn. It is really <laughs> squishy and it is really warm and it's really easy to knit with. So and it'll be perfect for your dad. My dad is really hard on socks. He's diabetic and has foot problems and Okay, this just is go be, with it. This is gonna be gross, but he gets oozing sores on his feet. So my mom needs to be able to take his socks and toss them in the washing machine, and she can with this. She wouldn't be able to if they were wool. So there we go. It works. That's what I was working on. <laughs> All right, stash acquisitions. Um, you know, I think we should go with the group one first. Yes, the group one. Um, Java Jenny on Ravelry, who is the kitchen counter crafter, I believe. Just sorry, give me a second. <laughs> yes, kitchen counter crafter. She <gasps> sent us, I bought a bag from her, but she's also sent all of us these little uh, wallets. Dude, there's little labels. Yeah, yeah there's oh labels. Oh my god, I haven't seen that, sorry. So basically, this is a little wallet. It's got an yes. elastic, and when you open it up, it's got plastic covers yep. and space to put your stuff. And um, it also came with a bunch of little labels. Yeah, there's some little labels and in so on, so I hadn't noticed that. Yeah, Sorry. so she sent us each one of these, and Yay. she sent one for a giveaway for later on for you guys. And the bag that I bought from her is this one. It's a zombie bag. Oh, ch show them how it opens and closes. I know. This the is so cool. The opening and closing, it's... It's, it's those snap bracelet things. It closes. <laughs> like, it stays closed. It's a snap. It's... Yeah, it's the material they used to make those slap bracelets out of yeah. in the eighties that apparently awesome. came back a couple of years ago. But yeah, so it stays closed and it, you can run your yarn through it. It just comes through perfectly. We were all playing with it last night at night. The other thing I bought is a Canadian girl. Look from, at you from BC. Forgot you didn't show me that one. I no. <laughs> I bought this from her. That's it's pretty. got pockets on the outside. On the outside, but it's also reverse, fully reversible, and it's got pockets on the oh, inside. That's awesome. And I can't pronounce her name. It's P O K D E J. Pokedidge? On dot Etsy dot com. So she has some really cool bags. And it's got a snap on the inside. So. Does that have drawstrings? Oh, look at that. It's got drawstrings. Yep. So it's really nice. That is pretty. I like it. Okay, where did you get that one? This one? No. This one? Yeah. This is my skull bag from. That's uh, pretty. What's her name again? Uh, Madbird. When did you get that? A oh, while months ago. ago. Oh, okay. I yeah. just don't pay attention apparently. Yeah, it's padded. It's pretty. Yeah. It's a sock. For yeah, because I was still over here recording when she got that one. Yep. I don't know. She buys so many damn bags. I can't keep up. Yeah. <laughs> don't ask. <laughs> I, you know, I started with end of May. It's my birthday, and then yeah. It just kind of snowballed from there. Yeah. So this is a cool little wallet. I really like it. Mm. So thank you, Jeff and Jenny. Yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. And oh, the swap. The swap is going. Everybody should have their partners. I've assigned everybody their partners. You have until August 15th and to send out your package. And please follow the rules. And there's a thread in the group. And people are asking questions back and forth. It's a secret swap. So answer any questions anybody posts and your partner will be able to pick out from your posts what you like or don't like or want or don't want or yeah don't like that. skip questions thinking that they're not meant for you yeah they might be yeah so it's a secret so nobody knows who has them um yeah and that's all i have that's it i guess nothing i yeah y'all know i haven't been around <laughs> for months I wrote so, an accounting exam this morning, so my brain is fried. Don't even, yeah, don't even ask. All right. I think we're good. I think we're good. So, oh, sure happy knitting, happy everything crafting. See you next week. Bye. Bye.